This is Ice Cream Gecko, and in today's video we're going to take a look at the Milka Shock Topped Cone, or Shock Topped Cone. I do not know how to properly pronounce this, but uh, this is an ice cream cone with uh, what I believe to be Milka chocolate on it, which is quite interesting. I've seen this quite a few times before, but I've never tried it out. Usually those like Milka style stuff as something else, but chocolate never really turns out as good as I hope it is, but uh, yeah, maybe this one here is a bit different from that. I bought this for, let me look, three, three euros and 99 cents. And um, let's take a quick look at all the ingredients lists here on the back for the German one. Pause if you want to read that. For the French one, pause if you want to read that. For the Dutch one, pause if you want to read that. And for the Spanish one, you also can pause if you want to read that. And for the Zoom in on that for the Portuguese one, you can do that as well, of course. Now, real quick, the whoop, let's zoom out for that again. Wow, so professional. The ingredients, no, the nutrition table right here. Pause if you want to read that. And we've got four ice cream cones, each at 110 milliliters. All in all, they come together to 288 grams. Now, that was an introduction of uh, not so interesting side notes. Uh, for some, for me mostly, but uh, let's take a look at the cones inside and they sit here so neatly packed, a little bit at an angle. Have they got, uh, no they haven't got any nutrition tables on here, so yeah these are only being sold in this kind of box. And I'm going to put the other ones in the freezer real quick, I'll be back with you in just a second. All right, I am uh, back at the desk. Let's uh, set this aside. Maybe take a quick look at what is actually written on here. So we've got that waffle cone, 12%, filled with vanilla ice cream with uh, alpine milk chocolate pieces, 6.5%, and alpine milk chocolate sauce, 6.5%. Uh, that has got alpine milk chocolate 0.5% in it, and it's uh, covered with alpine milk chocolate 12%. Um, very similar numbers twice. Very interesting. Um, didn't expect that to be honest. So I'm a bit out of breath from jumping up and down the stairs. I think I've really deserved this now. Yeah, all right, all right. It looks very much like one of these soft ice creams, right? Oh, look at it. It's like uh, somebody holds it like this and squirts something on the very top of it. Not the prettiest boy. The Cornettos usually look a bit better, but uh, so far so good. Bottom is nice and cone shaped. Nothing has broken off up until this point and the waffle cone itself feels nice. It's one of those rolled ones, not just the ones that uh, are being baked in the form itself. That is very nice so far. What am I going to do? You know, I, I, I'm going to do what I usually do. Let's do a bit of a cross section right here. Have we got this in frame? I think we do. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, it's breaking apart a little bit. Not to worry, not to worry. We are professionals over here. Wanna be professionals, maybe. So we've got, well, okay, okay, I didn't didn't expect that either. So usually, back in the day, most of this cone was usually filled with air and we've got a bit of chocolate at the bottom. This one right here goes all the way down. There's a bit of air right here as well, maybe you can see that. But um, so far it looks quite good. So we've got the, the vanilla ice cream right here, then we've got the alpine, I should zoom in on that, alpine milk pieces in here and the alpine milk sauce. Oh, it's melting already quite well. And it tastes like chocolate as well. That is lovely, isn't it? So now let's uh, take a bite of the alpine milk chocolate coating. Oh, it's melting quite quickly. All right, this tastes very much like Milka alpine milk chocolate. Can I drop this one as well? I can. Exactly the same as the second piece of alpine milk chocolate coating. This is one of these little alpine milk chocolate pieces on the inside. And they taste very similar to that, who would have thought? Now, let's take a look at the ice cream itself. It's a bit difficult because it's very well saturated with those little, those little chocolate pieces. Looks alright. It's not quite as white as I expected it to be. It's got a bit of a 
bit of a yellowy tint, a bit more than I expected it to be or expected it to have, but it looks looks all right. Looks all right so far. Yes, the ice cream itself is fine. It's difficult to judge quite how creamy it is because all those little chocolate pieces on the inside, you can see it right there quite well. Those give it a really interesting not really crunchy, but like chocolate-like crunchy texture. I always enjoy that when you've got ice cream with little chocolate pieces in there. It does give you a, a nice bit to bite on sometimes. So, so far I've got to say, the ice cream itself seems to be fine. The chocolate coating on the outside seems to be fine as well. And while I'm cleaning up a bit of the mess that I've made down here, I'm going to think about it a bit more. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really enjoying this so far. So this is of course now absolutely massacred as an ice cream cone. I'm going to have another one off camera just to make sure that I, that I, you know, tasted everything correctly. But so far the ice cream is fine, the innards are fine. Something we did not take a look at as of yet is the sauce itself. Only one time on the finger, but that wasn't really, wasn't really the main objective at that point. The sauce itself is a bit weird, I don't know. It doesn't really remind me of, um, of Alpine milk, but it was only, what was it, 0.5% of Alpine milk chocolate in that chocolate sauce or what it was? Give me a second, let's, let's take another look at that. Um, yes, I think it was the 0.5% of that in there. Interesting. Yeah. All right. I think I'm going to finish this off now. And um, this is a bit of a, a weird review. I, you know, I, I just want to to finish this off before everything just melts completely. And I'll be back with you with the final rating in just a second. All right. The consumption process is over, and I think we're ready to rate this particular item. First impression was fine. It uh, looked decent. It could have looked better, to be honest. Um, it looked a bit, you know, off off center, a bit unbalanced, maybe. But overall. It was fine. Color-wise, uh, same story. Nothing look, looked off color, really. The sauce was a bit foamier than usual. I um, usually do not have that much foamy sauce in ice cream. But it's something different every once in a while, so I don't really want to complain about that either. Consistency and texture-wise, uh, that's actually something I, I was a bit surprised by, because I don't have anything to complain. Uh, usually with these kinds of ice cream cones, uh, especially when you do not have the well-established Cornetto ones, they usually go for like these cheaper, cheaper waffle cones that are just, you know, injected into a mold some way and the only shape that they have, they're not being, being baked as a waffle and then being, you know, wrapped around a cone or anything, usually they just are being extruded somehow, it's just, it's a bit weird and uh, they've got a very particular texture to them and they do not taste that good and the crunchiness of them is uh, a lot worse than these ones right here, but this one right here, that was fine, I think I did enjoy that. Taste-wise, this gets a 4 out of 5, uh, the, well, the Alpine milk chocolate uh, was quite dominant <laughs> in this ice cream, who would have thought when you buy ice cream from from Milka, that uh, that stuff is in there. No, it, uh, it it has been fine. Um, I had a few Milka products that weren't their thing, you know, like cream cheese and Milka, yogurt Milka stuff. Most of it is tastes like I don't want to say it, but it's not really all that great because usually they they mix it up with stuff that it just doesn't belong in. That that chocolate just doesn't doesn't go well with uh, this one right here. I mean, chocolate is part of ice cream many times and very successfully most of the time, so why not do it like this? Something that is a bit different from the regular chocolate, though, is that we've got a quite light chocolate on this Alpine milk chocolate. It's uh, it's like a like a fancy whole milk chocolate kind of deal. It's taste-wise, it is certainly very similar to it. And and usually with ice creams, you have. A darker chocolate on here or something that isn't even called chocolate which is called usually couverture that you've got on here or in ice cream for the most part um, but this right here it, it went quite well the ice cream uh, and the ice cream <laughs> the chocolate wasn't too light I, I did expect it to be a bit too light maybe too sweet and ruin the entire thing but it's been fine it's been absolutely fine and I did not expect that so that is quite surprising I wish, though, that they would have maybe put those 
those little pieces on the inside, those ones or those ones right there. I wish they were a bit darker. They were a bit too light, uh, at least for my taste. But the thematization overall was fine. Um, here are the, 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 the chalk topped cone. Yeah, they have a cone and it's topped with the chalk, I guess. Uh, if that is for chocolate, that is. I'm not entirely sure. But all in all, this uh, particular item gets a 9 out of 10. Maybe it's a bit too optimistic. Um, all I can say about this though is, uh, apart from the sauce, that was quite a bit weirder than I expected it to be. Uh, it's been tasty. It's been looking good. And um, overall, I think for $3.99, it could be cheaper, but everything could be cheaper. And um, yeah, a regular Cornetto ice cream usually does well as well. But a 9 out of 10 for the product itself, I think, is appropriate. Because it, it just hasn't been bad in any way. It didn't taste bad. It didn't make me vomit or anything. Although that's not really the thing you have to achieve for getting a 9 out of 10. For the most part. For the most part. Anyway, um, sorry for this particular video. Uh, if you've, you know, felt this was a bit rushed, then you are, yeah, you're right. This is a bit rushed right now. I had a few like not so great news come in over the last couple of days and didn't quite get around to making a video. So uh, I'm doing this now on Monday evening. It's uh, eight o'clock right now, and I hope I get this out up until twelve o'clock because now I have to actually adhere to the schedule again. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and I hope I'm going to see you soon. Until then, bye-bye.